Let's kick off the conversation uh, with the committee. Weiss, I, I go to you first. Um, you are both connected in, in all of this in a way, in the, in the way that you invest, right, as an investor, not only in venture firms, but startups themselves. So I just want you to give us a real world on the ground view here of how you're thinking about this, this story as it develops. So what we did yesterday, we we're in numerous early stage companies uh, and sit in, I sit in the board of a couple of them. And the first call was get the money out. And some of the resistance was, well, you know, they'll survive this, then they'll remember that we weren't there for them. And I said, you're not hearing me. Get the money out. You know, you're, and, and there was no resistance after that because it's not worth betting your company on. And if you take a look at Lehman, it took 14 years for the last person to get their money out, and they weren't all made whole. So you need your operational capital at some place where you can access it. And you just can't risk the fortunes of the company or yourself if you're a founder. So it was, a, it was no controversial decision whatsoever. So there's no upside to keeping the capital. But I mean, you, you heard, you know, Dee Bosa just a moment yeah. ago with, you know, the anecdotes that she had yeah. heard, you know, people literally lining up at branches, trying to get money yeah. out, trying to get a cashier's check. Yeah. Right. A similar anecdote yeah. to us when you showed up here today. Yeah, so we had one founder that immediately tried to wire, at, wire the capital. And then we're hearing at least a two-day delay. From SVB to From a... From SVB to a, another a bank. A larger institution. Exactly. So he went to the bank, stood on a long line of founders, actually got a cashier's check for a very sizable sum, walked over to another bank, sat there. They wouldn't take it into a business account initially, so I had to put it into his personal account. And now is transferring it to the business account. So it's, uh, it's a mess. Look, you don't know really what's going on there because they had credit lines out to, I mean, they were the banker of choice. You've got others like Gallup Capital, right, that does it. But Gallup Capital is much, I would say, smarter in how they do it because they take a lot of collateral. It may be personal guarantees, et cetera. But I'm sure there's some risk to others as well. This is, though, ground zero for it. So, Liz, you know, given you know, the position in which you sit and the way you think about the market as a, as a strategist, you know, supposed to be and paid to think about the big picture in the markets. What does this make you think about? Well, I think this is a clear reminder of how quickly something like this can happen. I mean, less than overnight, right? It, it all occurred and, and how big and how strong something like a snowball effect is. I talk about the jobs market a lot in the sense of it's like a boulder rolling down a hill. It starts slowly and then it picks up speed and you can't stop it until it gets to the bottom. This seemed like something very similar where, to Steve's point, you know, it started as, oh, everything's going to be OK. It's probably contained. And then very, very quickly it was not contained. So here's what I would say, though, about financials in general. The idea of contagion risk and, you know, are we all going to find out suddenly that big banks and the rest of the banks in America have a ton of exposure to VCs? No, we're not going to find that out. But do all banks have some bonds on their balance sheet that are underwater if they purchase them before 2022? Absolutely. However, this bank did have a concentrated revenue stream, concentrated exposure to certain parts of the market and the economy that have obviously been hit very, very hard. It doesn't, however, prevent sentiment contagion. And I think that's really the biggest question mark. Oh, well, can, can I just follow up on that one second? Because I want to just go back to that Gallup Capital point. Those, they're different lenders. They're not bank lenders, right? So they go about it in a much different way. So VCs will be able to get some money. It'll be more expensive. But I'm not worried about any of those for the time being. Okay.